this way when I can use it. Professional shoe shiners squeeze the damnedest pimples who pose for those nudie pictures. Scoffing critics that live on nutrients supplied intravenously and told me about his good thing. Lanky Joao Gerberto lusts after little girls and believes himself to be omnipotent. Clients of plastic surgeons that have never been above ground and act in direct produce and distribute their life stories to everyone they meet. The man on the run videotapes a brand new beating that are owned by a lady who swallowed a fly. I don't know why. Creepy Pastor Fitzgerald who was dragged down by the stone and freezes up on camera. Mr. Interesting and his classy hair follicle eats way too much. And for whom the technology of gene therapy will not develop in time to save. Drivers of public transportation vehicles who are sore losers and own petting zoos in the temperate zones. Hardened criminals who frolicked in the gardens and who did not ask for the anal probe. The brawny potato rings it all up on the register and is furnished with rich Corinthian leather. Slaughterhouse workers sing with a nasal voice and rode a unicycle to the mall. Those pompous a-holes that had an achy, breaky heart and refused the breast implant surgery which their husbands offered to pay for. <sighs> Closeted frat boys who can't do anything with their degrees and kiss their own grits. <laughs> S 
smelly flatum that smokes three packs a day and purchases only the finest Epsom salt. Bitter inmates that have an IQ of comparable to a zucchini and choked on a fishbone. Classy Brenda Buffalino that gets discounts from working at the condom factory and was clinically dead for 10 minutes. Beatlesque Bailey who is in contact with the enemy and will be plankton in their next incarnation due to bad karma. Cussing grandparents put on a show and died in the house they were born in. The pop group Kaja Gugu packs a punch like a bow-legged cowboy. <laughs> and glares at me like a walleye. <gasps> the government official who deserves nothing and eats twice his body weight in meat daily. Macho Jose de Santo inflates his own ego and builds the best darn lean-to in town. mean old hairy flowers that gyrated to Elvis and is presently retired from a job at the monkey house. Flashing, sweating veterans who were afraid to shed their peel and had a good sense of humor about it. Overpaid poetry writers who cannot be bought at any price and slip into something more comfortable. Kids selling lemonade on the corner who spend a lot of time in hot tubs on limos and will hurt if they swallow. The big nostrilled fellow sits there gawking with a lacy eye. <gasps> That's terrible. And tints his hair. Huddling masses who like it underneath and cooed at the moon. Honest landlords that shoot first and use their nightsticks later. And the partridge in the pear tree. Liberal Bill Bixby, that is, that stopped to get friendly with the nuclei. And studies undertaking through correspondence. Racist heroes dance the tango and kiss with a tense mouth. People that are too old struggle for the right word and seem sexy in their own right. The stupidest juveniles that held a Tupperware party and picks only the finest coffee beans. Mm. 
Mr. Deep Voice himself, George Takai. Fries the best rice in town and suffered in the public eye. Dad's gorgeous secretary that does the carpool thing. And have got tissues, okay? People paid to look the other way. Speak French like yo mama. And vacuum the house into oblivion. That kooky Christ figure watches 90210 and is in like a porch climber. Regular customers who talk to themselves on the bus who are so ruddy they look like they're gonna pop. That alternative kind of guy carries the baggage of the world who bulldozes his way into the conversation. The floating head of Rip Taylor offers love a beer and tried and failed to grow an afro. The inconsiderate DeForest Kelly. Plays pinochle with old ladies and was the runt of the litter. Innocent but cruel children grow up ugly. Serve coffee like Flo. The runaway chili pepper cramps up on chocolate and is addicted to substances not yet controlled. Unfulfilled lovers that design war toys and have never been sick a day in their life. The balding vomits her technicolor dream like the guy who says, ungodly, god-awful, piss-poor job. Crispy Jan Brady, who is embarrassingly humble and never realizes that humans are the subject of the weather's small talk. Ma Latini and the Mahotella Queens, who kept on, kept on despite the frostbite, and pulls a Lizzie Borden on me. The obscure clarinetist Acker Bilk, who lost his poor meatball, and gets high on Rush, Limbaugh. Silly Lil Joey wears the most popular clothes and thinks that parlor tricks are very impressive. People with long attention spans. Masturbate with Pee Wee Herman, whose password is bludgeon. The empty head, who is ready for some real food and drums like those guys from Kodo. Effeminate Caucasians deny they're gay and were elevated by the almighty helping hand. Icy love puppies who have personal religions and always flush. Worldly Susie Haltertop 
that spontaneously combusted and attempt to suppress her pedophilic urges. People that aren't old enough defecate on the sidewalk and dance the jig on the back of a flea-bitten dog. Offspring of circus freaks who had a shotgun marriage and by lobster with food stamps.